Hi you guys, I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Um, I've been, I think I made two different trips to the Dollar Tree this week, so this is a collective haul. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the food items. And I grabbed a pack of these Camillo's uh, Pizza Crusts. My girls really like these. They love to make their own pizzas. I personally have not tried these, but they like them, so I buy them for them. Um, next, now these have already been dug into because I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> um, they're the Keebler Chips Deluxe Cookies in the Minis. I am the chocolate chip. They, oh, they're not upside down. Up. It comes in a four pack, and so that was a fun find. Sorry if you can hear the airplane overhead. I'm, it's such a nice day outside that I'm in my backyard, um, so I apologize for the sound. Um, the next thing I found is the Austin cheese crackers with peanut butter, and these have already been dug into as well. They come in a six pack. So I was glad to find these because I like the cheese with peanut butter better than I like the cheese on cheese. And the cheese on cheese are the only ones I've been able to find there. Um, so I grabbed those. And next I grabbed these Nani's Biscotti Bites, the Caramel Milk Chocolate. I've seen a lot of people haul these and heard good reviews, so I decided to give those a shot. And then these next two items I grabbed for the Easter baskets that I'm going to be putting together. Um, my daughter loves sour candy, and I found the green pop sours, so I'm going to put these in her basket. And then I also found they have a bunch of the Peeps minis. I've never seen these before. I got her sour watermelon, which sounds really gross, <laughs> but I think she'll like them. They had them in strawberry, chocolate, I think vanilla. They had a ton of them. Anyway, I just grabbed one when I went. And next I got these Monet Vegetable Entertainment Crackers. These are really good crackers. Um, I usually buy the, I can't remember the brand name, is it Winton's? I'm not sure. They're, they're called like the Everything Cracker. They sell them at most grocery stores. I usually buy those, but I really like these. Um, so those I've repurchased quite a few times. The next item I also dug into is the Imperial Nuts Antioxidant Blend, and it has banana chips, cranberries, almonds, cashews, and blueberries. And this is pretty good. My only complaint is there's not enough almonds and cashews. It's a lot of the chips and the cranberries. Um, that's the my, the majority of what the bag holds. Um, so it's perfect if you've got some extra almonds or something to add to it, at least in my opinion. But they were really good. Um, next I found, and I haven't seen these there before, and I don't think they're a Dollar Tree product. They don't seem to be. They're a uh, Risparmio brand, Italian style seasoned breadcrumbs, and it's a 24 ounce container. Um, so I was really happy to find these. I'll have to let you guys know if they're any good. And then I also found some Mill City Market uh, semi sweet chocolate um, chocolate chips. I've never tried these before. Um, but I figured I would give them a whirl because we're out of chocolate chips right now. And, yeah, I've never heard of this brand before, Mill City Market, but we'll give them a shot. And then the next thing I grabbed is the Little Dutch Made Deluxe Cream Cookies. Can you tell I was hungry when I went shopping? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I heard that this brand, people have really liked it, so I figured we would give it a shot. The girls might like those. And then the last food item is the Gerber Graduates Lil Woo's Mild Cheddar and their Little Owls. And I know these are for toddlers, but um, a lot of people had said they were really good, so I bought them. And for 20 crackers, it's 60 calories, um, 2.5 total fat, and less than a gram of sugar. There's 9 carbs in it, but there's 30 gram, milligrams of potassium. Um, Anyway, and I thought that these were probably better health-wise than the little fishies are. 
So I grabbed them and I really like them. Um, those I've repurchased actually quite a few times. And let's see. Oh, move this bag out of the way here. Okay. Next, I found the Lysol Clean and Fresh Lavender and Orchid Essence. And when I first looked at this, I thought, okay, that's really small. But then I noticed that it makes five gallons. So I went ahead and grabbed one of these. I have my own spray bottles that I like to, I usually make my own cleaners with essential oils. But I figured um, to have as a backup in case I can't make mine right away. So I grabbed that. And they had this also in lemon. They also had the wipes in the lemon and the lavender. Um, I did grab some lavender wipes, but they're all gone now. So The next thing I grabbed, which this is my first time trying this, and I really like it. Um, it's by the home store, and it's the furniture wipes and the lemon scent. And this one came with 30 wipes, and I just tried it out yesterday, and I really like them. So that was a good purchase. And next I found the Spa Haas. Uh, dye-free, paraben-free, gentle cleansing body wash. This one is the Skin Relief with Nature's coll Colloidal Oatmeal and Shea Butter. I really like the scent of this. I'm not sure um, how my girls are going to like it, but I purchased another one there in the past that I believe was the same brand but a different scent, and they really liked it, so I figured we'd give this one a shot. And... The next item, this is one of my favorite things. Um, this is the coconut body cream, and this is by the Dollar The Dollar Tree does make this, and it comes in a 6.8 ounce. I like this better than my Bath & Body Works lotions, which to me was just crazy because I love Bath & Body Works. This is my favorite. If you haven't tried this and you see this, buy it. Try it if you like coconut. And I'd be interested to know what you guys think. But this is one of my faves. I've, I Every time I go and I see it, I usually buy one to put in my stockpile. Because I don't want to run out. So, there's that. And next, I found some Delsum cough, cough Soothing Action Lozenges. And there's 16 in the Honey Lemon. Delsum brand has always worked really good for us with coughs. The doctor... When I remember when my kids would get sick, this was the brand that they would recommend. So when I saw this at the Dollar Tree, I snatched it up. The next item that I got is the LA Colors uh, lip stock, Lipstick Lip Gloss Duo in Twinkle. And I did already open this and use it. Um, I'm not too fond of the color. I... I just don't think it looked good on me, but I do like the lip gloss. There's just not even enough in there to make it worth it. Um, but it smells like, it smells like Hello Kitty erasers. I remember growing up, I used to love Hello Kitty erasers. They always smelled so good. Well, that's what this lip gloss smells like to me. So I like the gloss, but when I'm done with the gloss, I think I'm going to give my mom the lipstick. Um... So there's that, and next I found, these are for me, I have my hair up a lot, so I got these uh, ribbon elastics, and it was a five pack, which I thought was really good, because at Target and other stores, these are really expensive. I've never tried these before, so I figured I would give them a go. Um, the next, oh my, I have a toothpaste in here hiding, I got the Crest 3D White. My girls really like this toothpaste, so every once in a while when I see it at the Dollar Tree, I'll grab it for them. Um, next, I have these um, pot holders from the Dollar Tree, and they are the ones that have the rubber, like the grip stuff on the back. Um, I'd seen so many people haul these, and my Dollar Tree has every color. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed two of the turquoise. And, let's see, I usually put a tablecloth over my kitchen table, but I don't need it to be fancy. I just want it to protect the wood. 
um, because the girls, you know, can be pretty messy. We start doing craft projects and things like that. Um, it can get really dirty, so I like to just be able to toss the tablecloth after. Um, and so I grabbed a turquoise one from the Dollar Tree. Really cheap, but I'm hoping it'll do the job that I'm looking for. And then I grabbed, um, my store had a lot of the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Polish. I grabbed this one and I have no clue what color, like the name of the color, but I thought it was a really pretty like bubblegum pink. So I actually grabbed this for me. I figured maybe that'll give me incentive to start painting my nails again. And then I grabbed two of these little um, bucket deals. I'm going to make the girls um, Easter baskets with these. And yes, you know, my girls are older, but I still do put together a little basket for them. <laughs> so, and that's actually it. That's my Dollar Tree haul for today. Um, I am planning on taking another trip to the Dollar Tree. Hopefully this week, probably in the next day or two. So... I should have another haul very shortly. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you all are having a great day. Alright, bye.